Hey guys, how are you doing today? So, oh, welcome. Welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. Um, if you're interested in my makeup look, it is uh, the new Poison Garden uh, tutorial that I uploaded. And you can actually watch how I got this look. I did not record doing my actual makeup, but just the eye look. Um, I do tell you what I wear on my, what I put on in that other video though, if you would like to uh, recreate it. And like I said, so it's from the new Poison Garden uh, palette by Bella Beauty Bar. And uh, at least if you want to know what is on my lip, I took the uh, e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in the Plum Aside, I think is what it's called. And then I took the shade Untamed in their uh, O-Face lipstick. This is the shade Untamed. Really nice, deep, like, purplish fuchsia type color. And then I take the... Uh, dark cocoa lip liner and then I relined with the this since it's darker and then I take the uh blend bunny sugar high black sugar and I put that over it for that deep red for the deep gloss and it's just gorgeous and then I used the uh, oleander in the shades in the first top two rows on the right side of the palette in poison garden but that's not what this video is for this video is for my uh empties from September which there wasn't a whole, whole lot, but, um, I had two months worth of stuff in this bag and I needed to get it emptied because, um, I keep forgetting what's for what. And I was going to take it into Sephora to like dispose of it there, but I'm just going to get rid of it here this time. Um, it just kind of got to be too much. So, um, some of it I've already thrown away that was from last month's, uh, get, uh, empties video. Um, and that's what I'm saying is the bag was full from the last two months and I just haven't had time. I was actually at Sephora today and I didn't take the bag with me. So, um, the last few times I was there, I forgot to take the bag. So I'm just going to get rid of it on my own. Let's just start with the wipes that I got from the Dollar Tree. I got these, uh, spa therapy ones. They were okay, but, um, probably wouldn't buy them again. Dollar 25. Now, my favorite from the Dollar Tree are the Glowing Sea uh, Cleansing Cloths. I purchased two of these just uh, in September, and this is the first bag that I finished off. And I am um, now working on the second package. I always buy that one from Global Beauty Care from there, but it's only that one that I like. Um, also, I tried a bunch of the Veggie Farm, Real Veggie Farm masks this last month, and I didn't like any of them. Uh, the only one that I really like is the carrot one. In fact, I have decided that I think these things are such a waste of money, even at $1.25, that I'm only going to buy like maybe two a month now at this point, and it's going to be the carrot ones or I'm not even going to do it. Um, and so that's how I feel about those. Those are also sold for eight bucks at Walmart and $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Um, pretty sure I showed you guys this last time, but if not, this was also that Global Beauty Care Glowing Vitamin C Skin Cream. And when I had no job and was broke, it was decent and I would wear it under my makeup for the daytime. I would use a nicer moisturizer for the evening time for my face, but I used this for the daytime. Uh, then I finished off a my first bottle of and repurchased the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is the first one I went through. I've gone through another half a bottle and I already have three more in my basket to buy as backups. I also bought a backup of the Brighten Eye Eye Cream from them just today. And I have that because uh, my other one's almost empty and I did not want to run out of it. That one's only $10 from Sephora. I had to cut this open a couple of ways to get it all out. It was my favorite skin tint. Um, it was the Ever Daylight Tinted Radiance Moisturizer. Um, so it was a tinted moisturizer and it was a broad spectrum SPF 32. And I just really loved this one. It was a light shade and it was like a $52 for one ounce. And it was just so amazing. So I got every bit of it out of there that I could. There was a little bit left, but you know, I've got plenty right now. So now this just went bad on me, so I have to throw it away. It's the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer, which was too bad because this cost like $56. And as you can see, I did not get through much. Um, it was actually given to me from my niece, though, so I didn't uh, pay for it to begin with. So um, it was a gift. So, well, it wasn't a gift, but um, 
it was given to me after she didn't want me anymore. And um, so I think it was probably pretty close to expired then. So I got a little bit of use out of it. But once I saw, um, I did even use it like once without anything else on my face. It was like the only thing I put on and I just didn't like knowing that there was something that wasn't good for me or that it was possibly expired on my skin. So, and also this stuff would always make me pill every time I'd use it, almost every time. And I would go from, I mean, the, there were a couple of times I just did. Yeah, I put too much on, but there were times I didn't put too much on and this stuff pill would always cause my makeup to pill. So it's too bad because I really liked it. It was a kombucha glow moisturizer by Elemis and I really like Elemis so too bad um this I actually just dumped in the other bottle because my other one was out and I like the sprayer better on the other one it's my Le Mercier uh, matte finishing setting spray I actually would buy this again and again I actually really like this little uh, uh one and I'm actually wearing it today but I just put it into a bottle with a better sprayer because I finished it off which was my wet and wild Care Bears uh, setting spray. I finally finished it off, but I love the bottle so much and the sprayer on it. So I kept the bottle. Now I also used up two of the Laneige Radiant C samples. And this was an awesome brightening skin cream moisturizer. I really liked it. I would even have considered buying it. Just two samples I used. I also used two samples of the Kiehl's, but I saved the jars. Um, I also had tried the Dr. Barber Sturm Glow Drops, and I really liked those. That was just a little sample from Sephora, but I really liked them. They were really nice. I wanted to mention that. Um, this I had finally finished off. It won't pump out anymore. It was my Revlon Candid Photo Ready, and they just discontinued this. So, And I only had mine for two years, so I thought, well, it's discontinued. And I actually have another tube of this. Um, it's two years old, so I should try. I just know it's not the exact right shade. I'm going to have to adjust it, but that's fine. I should get through it because I did really, really like this one. And 210 Natural Okra was my shade, and I really liked that on me. I really liked the finish. It was a natural finish. This one I'm pretty sure I talked about last month, but I decided I do not like those Dermacell products um, from the Dollar Tree necessarily. I don't like the face moisturizers, okay? I like the uh, body moisturizers just fine, and I love the uh, shampoo and conditioner. I love, love, love that light shampoo and conditioner that they have at the Dollar Tree. Um, I had also finished off my Dr. Brandt Triple Antioxidant Eye Cream. And uh, it was because I had needed to finish it or throw it away. So I got that one finished off. And it was like an $82 one. They don't even make this one anymore. So it was definitely time to finish it. Um, I had gotten it in BoxyCharm. Another item that I know is just expired is this uh, Primed and Poreless SPF 20 from uh, Too Faced. And it's just like, it's, it's like a tan shade uh, matte primer. Um, but it, it came in my little Sun Bunny glow set that I had gotten. It had like four powders in it that had like highlighters and bronzers in it. And then it came with like this in the center. And I just, it's expired. I also finished off a Victor and Rolf flower balm and a Givenchy Irresistible. This hardly had anything in it to begin with. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I literally, I think I got two uses out of this. This was great. I got like three of these and an actual like uh, travel size of that. And I love it. Um, that's actually what I ended up using my redemption for was that one. This one also from the last time I picked it up, you hear that? That was a liquid highlighter and it never made that sound before. It like liquefied on me. That was a grande liquid illuminator. It was really pretty and it was also waterproof, but, uh, I got rid of it. Sorry. I didn't really show that. I have no idea how much it was. I also got that from my niece. Beauty, Beauty Guard. 12 hour waterproof highlighter for face and body. It was a beautiful color too. Um, but it just, it went bad on me. And then, um, this had also been a bottle that had had, uh, my setting spray in it, but this sprayer, I keep that bottle. I might keep this bottle actually. I kind of liked the sprayer on it. And then I also finished off, um, from the Dollar Tree, a skin nutrition botanicals, of vitamin C 1%. I had finished this one off. Um, it was one I had bought when I 
hadn't been working. So that is it. That is everything. Um, that is my empty bag now. And now I can put in things from September. I already have a couple of those items may have been from September possibly, but, um, or I mean October, but I just wanted to empty this bag. So we'll start all over again. And I'm pretty sure that some more things will end up in there. So that is the simple empties video for this month. And now that everything's in the trash, I guess I'll just take a picture of the trash can. All right. Have a good one.